Yeah, hello and welcome to another modeling tutorial. In this one I'm gonna demonstrate how you can model this Rolex watch, um, the Rolex Daytona. Um, this is most of the, the watch here um, in the end is polygon stuff. Um, in between I'm going in there and um, doing some nerves and then converting them back to polygons. So yeah, let me just show you some uh, other renderings I did. So this is from down below. And here's another one. So yeah, if you follow me, I will show step by step um, so that you can, in the end, um, have something that looks like this one here. Okay. So yeah, the cool thing about 3D is um, everything that you can't afford in real life, you can build it on your computer. So <laughs> this is uh, yeah a Rolex watch. Okay, so in here, that, that's uh, the scene file. That's what I modeled. Um, yeah, it's in the end, it's about uh, one million, something about one million vertices here. So, yeah, if you have a very slow computer, um, yeah, you might run into problems, but uh, yeah, it should work fine on most of the systems out there. So, yeah, um, you need to know that you have to install um, at least two fonts if you don't have them. So let me switch to Google here. Um, the two fonts I downloaded that uh, come close to um, the fonts on that Rolex watch um, are uh, the micro grammar font. Type that in. Um, so that's going to be the D medium X trend. So on fontzone.com, if you click on that, you should download that for free. So that's the one font we need. Um, so if you don't have that installed, just download that here and um, get it and install it in your fonts folder. Um, let me go back. And the other font that we need is the Baskerville old face and that's gonna be uh, uh, found on, on, on the Brobel.com here um, it's also a free download if you go on that website here and click down here download this font and uh, you have to install this as well so that's one thing um, so let's take a look at the Rolex uh, homepage here. So uh, you on that homepage you find a cool animation of of that watch here. So and some pictures from the different models they have, and it's a pretty cool cool website. So yeah, let's um, go in there and download. Uh, go to Google and download uh, a reference image. Um, just type in Rolex Daytona uh, under Google Images. Um, go to Large Images here and um, let me take a look. So as you can see, there are many different uh, types of that Daytona and I would recommend to uh, download as many good reference images uh, that you can. So this one, for example, so just to yeah, have different uh, angles of view and, and stuff like that. So yeah, if you don't have pictures from that watch, um, just download if, uh, a bunch of them and put them in a folder. So the one image you really need is this one here. So if you want to follow me, so this is um, a top view. Let me go to full screen here. Uh, it's on, as you can see up here on mkmotorsport.com, Daytona and so on. You can read it here. So this is um, a large image and <coughs> it looks like somebody did that in Photoshop or something, but um, that works fine for our um, reference from the top view. So download that and put that into your source images folder. Um, that's what I'm what I'm gonna do. Okay, and another tool I'm using is uh, Photoshop again, uh, and I'm using for s uh, some parts here. I'm using the um, Headers UV layout tool. Um, Actually, this is um, not for free, but there is another tool out there. It's from uh, Pull in Shapes Roadkill. So, and that works um, almost the same uh, as this one here. Okay, so you don't need to use that, but um, yeah, it's making UV layout um, 
easy, quick and easy. Okay, so yeah, let's get started here. Let's uh, always create a new project when you're working on a new project. So go here to project new. Um, I call mine Rolex uh, Watch Daytona um, using the using the default here and say accept. Okay, and then let me go to a new scene. I don't want to save that. And now um, with that project created, you can go in there and put the uh, background image that we need in the uh, source images folder. So let me go back to Firefox here to that image. Let's download that and put that to the source images folder. So um, head to your projects folder and go to the project that you just created. So in my case, Rolex Watch Daytona, go to the source images here and um, save this as I call mine reference image. Okay. So with that downloaded, um, yeah, let's open that up in um, uh, in the image viewer to rotate that guy. Um, let me head to that image, go to the project projects folder, and go to the source images folder where we put that. Open that up, and let's rotate that clockwise like this, and then go in and say save. So. This should be rotated um, clockwise. Um, yeah, it's going to be a little bit easier to model if it's uh, like this one here. Okay, so now let's go back to Maya and let's bring that in. So go to the top view here and go to view, go to image plane, go to import image. And um, yeah, it should bring you to the source images folder where you put that. And if you bring that in, there it is. So that's. Um, what we need go to the perspective view and uh, select that image go here to inputs image plane and let's bring that down in y and then um, let's go back to the top view and let's uh, try to center this uh, as close uh, to the center of the grid as we can so let's try to click on here on center x i hit control and middle mouse to bring that to the center here somewhere about here and let's uh, click on center Z and bring that down a tiny bit like this maybe center X so like this okay let me zoom out that looks good to me so we have we have um, you know the middle of the watch uh, right in the center of the grid and yeah that should that should work for our project here so with that done um, yeah we are ready to rumble here um, so let me pause the video um, and I'll be back and then we are going to start in and um, model um, the first pieces of that watch okay so see you in the next video